Some people dedicate a lot of time and money to seeking out a change, and a change is exactly what they'll find, whether they like it or not. Beauty comes at a price, and you get what you pay for. In 2005, Regine Rinsing was undergoing a drastic transgender transition. Originally born a male, Regine wanted to express what she felt on the inside. However, all of this came at a major cost. Unable to pay for the expensive cosmetic surgeries, Regine turned to alternative routes in order to look and feel her best. Many women in the trans community encouraged Regine to visit an exclusive black market nurse who had successfully assisted in many beauty procedures around Miami, Florida. Desperate and anxious for fast and inexpensive expensive results, Regie turned to O'Neill Ron Morris, a transgender female who assured Regie that, while she wasn't a board-certified plastic surgeon, she had extensive medical training and had qualified experience as a nurse. Regie felt an unspoken bond with O'Neill, believing that the two shared similar transitions and she decided to get the work done. Over the course of three cosmetic sessions, Regie received multiple injections in her jawline, lips, cheeks, breasts, hips, and buttocks. The injections were incredibly painful, and though beauty does come at a price, Regie didn't think it could be such a painful experience. O'Neill promised that everything was going to be okay, reassuring Regie that she had injected her with medical-grade silicone. Everything appeared to look great until Regie began developing a rapid infection on her face nearly a year after her sessions. After visiting doctors, Regie had discovered that the injections inside of her body were not silicone, but instead were a toxic stew of cement and tire seeds. O'Neill Ron Morris was arrested in 2011 after previous patients came forward to police. Regine now faces the consequences and continues to undergo multiple treatments. She will unfortunately never look the same again. Dolls tend to be a morphed idea of the perfect person, sex dolls included for some. For French model Victoria Wilde, no other type of doll would do for the inspiration behind her transformation. Fueled by the idea that anyone would want to be treated like a bimbo doll because it's such a sexy look, she, with the financial help from her modeling career and her supportive boyfriend, has spent over $40,000 to pay for rhinoplasties, permanent lip implants, Botox, and three breast enhancements, leaving her breasts at a whopping size 32G. And because of this, she has come much closer to her dream of looking just like a sex doll. She chalks her reasoning up to an inferiority complex at a young age and claims her boyfriend adores her look and all the attention she receives from it. Nearing 200 cosmetic surgeries, this man will do just about anything to look exactly like his favorite doll. Justin Jadlico was once a normal-looking adolescent. For years, he struggled to maintain his confidence and decided to undergo one rhinoplasty at the age of 17. Not satisfied with the first attempt at having a perfect nose, Justin continued to undergo multiple surgeries that went far beyond altering his nose. Once becoming an adult, Justin made it his life goal to become 100% plastic, giving himself the title of a real-life Ken doll. In just over a decade, Justin has had a staggering number of 191 procedures, totaling over $250,000. Multiple rhinoplasties, brow lifts and shavings, cheek and lip augmentations, as well as tricep, subpectoral, thigh, calf, shoulder, and bicep implants. Justin continues to get work done and has starred on several TV shows such as Botched and The Doctors. For some, the pursuit of beauty is worth any cost. Jocelyn Wildenstein grew up in a middle-class family in Switzerland. While in her 30s, she went on to marry Alec N. Wildenstein, an incredibly wealthy man that was tied to a family of renowned art dealers. 
Infidelity and violence struck the couple after a decade of marriage. Jocelyn and her husband filed for divorce that resulted in Jocelyn receiving $2.5 billion at the end of their marriage in 1997. Jocelyn knew that her former husband adored cats, and because she wanted to please him after their divorce, Jocelyn reportedly spent $4 million on plastic surgery, turning herself into a cat-like woman. Though many see her face as something unnatural, Jocelyn claims to be ecstatic with the results. She has moved on from the scandalous failed marriage and is now dating new people. Risking one's life for a chance at fame is all part of the journey for some people. Myra Hills, also known as Be Shine, is a German adult model who's reported to own the world's largest augmented breasts. Wearing a custom-made 32Z bra, each augmented breast weighs an astounding 20 pounds and are both filled with 10 liters of silicone. Due to the unnatural size of her breasts, Myra has been able to make a living making public appearances, modeling, and filming in the adult entertainment industry. Despite medical professionals encouraging Myra to refrain from going any larger in size, Myra says she plans on going from 10,000 cc's of silicone in her implants to a dangerous 50,000 cc's in the near future. A forked tongue may be a symbol of evil for some, but not for all. Known in the entertainment industry as the Lizard Man, Eric Sprague began transforming his body during his college years in 1994. While working as a performance artist, Eric wanted to explore the idea of what it meant to be human while physically altering his body. Since the early 1990s, Eric has undergone hours of enhancing his looks with dental filings, subdermal implants, bifurcating his tongue, and tattooing in order to achieve his reptilian appearance. Eric is now a freak show performer and participates in many public and private flesh hook suspension groups. The Lizard Man currently has his own wax figure at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium in New York City. Some people just get a bit too obsessed with fictional characters. Henry Damon, a 37-year-old husband and father from Venezuela, had a certain obsession with Captain America, but not so much Captain America himself as much as he did with Red Skull, Captain America's arch nemesis. But just reading wasn't enough for Henry, he needed more, which is why he decided to undergo numerous procedures, from implants in his head, tattooing his skin and eyeballs, to even chopping away a good portion of his nose so that he could look as close to Red Skull as possible. And his appearance, which frightens a good number of people, brings pride to Henry's heart, but like so many others looking to completely revamp their appearance, he is nowhere near finished. A man known as the Stalking Cat, and you're about to figure out why. Dennis Avner grew up in Suttons Bay, Michigan. As a young boy, Dennis recalled feeling excluded from humans and often wondered where his tail was hiding, believing that he was supposed to be born a cat. At the age of 27, Dennis began altering his appearance by undergoing multiple procedures, surgically reshaping his ears, filing his teeth, injecting silicone into multiple areas of his face, and surgically modifying his hairline were only a handful of what Dennis changed in order to turn himself into a cat. After years of transitioning, Dennis began receiving worldwide media attention. He starred in appearances for Ripley's Believe It or Not, as well as multiple interviews and TV appearances. Unfortunately, Dennis the Stalking Cat passed away on November 5th, 2012, after committing suicide at the age of 54. He was in the process of receiving implants on top of his head in order to have tiger-like ears, just one step closer to achieving his ideal cat form. Some people call this woman a living and breathing doll. Valeria Lukyanova is a model from Ukraine that is well known for her unnatural appearance resembling Barbie. 
With an incredibly small waist and plastic doll-like features, many are skeptical of the model after stating that she's only had one breast augmentation and has naturally accomplished her look by working out and dieting. Pictures of Valeria before her surgery have recently surfaced online, proving her statement to be a lie. Though many like to compare Valeria to Justin Jedlika, the two are reportedly not fond of each other, as both believe that the other is nothing special. Valeria has always focused on her spirituality and in 2014 announced that she would refrain from eating and drinking and instead would focus on receiving her energy from light and air. Going against a doctor's orders can often lead to detrimental consequences. As a young adult, Hong Miyoku took her good looks to the modeling industry and never looked back. With everything going for her, Hong wanted more than what she was prepared for. At the age of 28, Hong moved to Japan and invested in injections that would aid in smoothing her skin, making her appear youthful for years to come. After multiple treatments, doctors refused to treat Hong due to her face swelling from the copious amounts of injections. Upset with doctor's orders, Hong took matters into her own hands and began self-injecting her face with cooking oil that she had bought from the grocery store. Years of abuse to her face resulted in severe, swollen, and baggy skin around her eyes, cheeks, and jawline. Hong had become unrecognizable to the public and lost her modeling career because of her actions. Now regretting what she's done, Hong has no other option but to turn to professionals in order to fix the damage. She now lives the rest of her life attempting to undo the consequences of her mistakes. That's all for now. If you'd like to learn more creepy and bizarre aspects to our world, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to follow my social media, which is shown on screen right now. And I will see you next Wednesday.